All right, let's look at how opening a parachute affects the terminal velocity of various objects. So we will start with a ping pong ball. Um, we're going to let it fall, and then we're going to open that parachute up. And you can see as soon as we opened that parachute up, the velocity of this ping pong ball plummeted. So it slowed down significantly. You can see it had been speeding up. And then we open that parachute, it reaches a new terminal velocity, and now its velocity has plummeted down to 0 0.55 meters per second. For the golf ball, if we send that down and open the parachute, again, you can see as soon as that parachute is opened up, it slows down dramatically, and now it is going 2.30 meters per second. And the same pattern, it's speeding up, as soon as the parachute is opened, the velocity plummets and it settles at a new terminal velocity down here. Let's look at the soccer ball. The soccer ball with a parachute. We open it up, it slows down significantly and ends up at 5.46 meters per second as the new terminal velocity. Last but not least, let's look at the watermelon. we open that up and use the parachute, you can see it honestly was still sort of in the process, maybe hadn't even quite reached terminal velocity, but it seems like the terminal velocity of a watermelon with that parachute is about 14.93 meters per second. So 14.93 for the watermelon.